Hello and welcome back. We're going to talk about yet another issue relating to a long-term liability. This time we're looking at repaying the long-term liability before its due date. So let's look at an example of bonds payable that have been outstanding and we have decided to repay it during the course of its life, that is well before the end of its life. So here's the example we want to work with. We have two separate cases. The first one we have Mikel Corporation that is redeeming. Redeeming simply means it's paying off. $140,000 face value, 9% bonds on April 30th, 2022. They're gonna repay it at 101, which means they're gonna pay 1% more than the face value. The bonds had a carrying value at the redemption date uh, of 126,500. The bonds pay interest, uh, annual interest, and the interest uh, due on April 30th has already been paid. So they're saying all the interest due has been paid as of this time. We are now redeeming the bonds. So let's look at a couple of things first up over here. The face value of our bonds is $140,000. The carrying value of the bonds is $126,500. Okay, so that means we have a discount in our books. The bonds were issued at less than face value. The bonds were issued at less than face value. We had been amortizing the discount. And at this point of time, the unamortized amount is 13,500. Bond discount is a contra account. And we now need to close that account when we are paying off the liability. Bond payable is a liability the normal balance is credit. In order to close it, I'm going to debit that account. So bonds payable is going to be debited and the amount I'm paying off, the face value is 140,000. The date is, I'm doing this on April 30th, 2022. The bond discount is a contra account. The contra account means it's opposite of the bond payable. Bond payable normal balance is credit, which means bond discount normal balance is debit. In order to close bond discount, I need to credit the account. The unamortized amount is 13,500. How much cash have I paid? I paid 101, which means I paid 101% of this face value. 101% of the face value is 141,400. That's how much I have paid. So now the final number I have over here is a plug number. It's a balancing figure. So I have a discount of 13,500. If you recall from the previous video, what had we said? A bond discount is basically a loss. At the time I issued the bonds, I got less money. That loss of 13,500 plus the, 14, uh, the 1,400 extra that I paid right now to settle the bonds, those two together, are the loss on redemption. So my total losses, loss on redemption is 14,900. So it's a 13,500 plus 1,400, that's the extra that I paid at this point of time. That's a total loss on the bonds. And at this point of time, I'm writing it all off as a loss. Once again, if you recall from the previous video, bond discount, we had said the contra account, we keep it in our books and we write it off over the life of the bonds. Now that the life of the bond is ending because I'm repaying it, I need to recognize all that loss all at once. I don't have a choice over here. Let's look at the second example. Goldman Inc. redeemed $170,000 face value, 12 and a half percent bonds on June 30th, 2022 at 98. So $170,000 liability is paid off, 98% is the amount of cash I'm paying, 98% of the face value. The carrying value of the bonds at redemption is 184,000. The bonds pay annual interest and interest is payable on June 30th and all of that has been made. So they're saying all the interest has been settled. So let's go through the same process as we did before. The face value of the bonds I'm redeeming is 170,000. Again, redeeming means I'm paying it off. The carrying value is more than the face value. It's 184,000, which means these bonds were issued at a premium 
The unamortized premium is 14,000. A bond premium is an example of an adjunct account. An adjunct account is really the opposite of a contra account. A contra account reduces the liability, an adjunct account increases that liability. So both the bond payable and the adjunct account premium, bond premium have a credit balance. I need to debit both those accounts when I close the account. So the date is June 30th, 2022. I start out with bonds payable debit. The carrying value is $170,000. I then write bond premium, the unamortized amount, which I uh, said is 14,000. I will write that there. Leave one line and then write down the cash paid. I am paying 98% of face value to settle this debt. So I'm coming out ahead over here. I have $166,600 of cash that I'm paying out, so cash is credited. So here what I have is, I paid less than the face value of the bonds, 2% less, and I have that bond premium, which was again at the time of issue, that was unamortized. I need to recognize all that gain right now. So at this point of time, what I have is a gain on redemption. Again, it's a balancing figure in the journal entry. I have a gain of 17,400. How do I come up with that? The 14,000 plus the difference of the amount that I have paid over here, uh, the difference in terms of the 2% less that I paid. Okay, so the total amount is 17,600. So I paid less and I had issued it at a premium. So these are two uh, opposite examples. In the first case, I had sold the bonds at a discount at a loss and I paid more to redeem it. Here I had sold the bonds at a premium and I paid less to redeem it. So obviously the second situation you're ahead. A last uh, a note over here, why would a company repay a bond ahead of time? It could be for a variety of reasons. Uh, probably it is as in Oldman's case, maybe they no longer need that money, they can repay that money right now. Why keep a debt in their books? Why pay 12 and a half percent interest if they can now uh, perhaps get a lower interest rate, they just don't want it. For a company in this situation, it's highly unlikely that they have lots of money sitting around to pay off the $140,000. What is more likely the case is they probably can refinance it at a lower interest rate, which is why they're doing this. In either case, bonds payable is a liability. Whether you have a contra account or an adjunct account in your books relating to this liability, if you pay off the liability, you need to close those accounts as well. So just make a note, bond payable is a liability, normal balance is credit. If you have a contra account, it means it has a debit balance. I need to credit it to close it. If I have an adjunct account, the normal balance is credit. I need a debit to close that account. So once you place them in the journal entry, it's fairly easy. You just need to find out what the unamortized amount is. So that concludes the topic on uh, bonds payable for the principal's class.